Tektronix made many changes to instruments and manuals over the life of instruments, making it difficult to be sure you have or are buying the correct manual for your instrument version. We suggest that prospective buyers of manuals from the Vintage Tech eBay store specify their instrument serial number before ordering, so that if we have multiple copies in stock, we can ship the most relevant manual. If no serial number is given, and we have multiple copies, we'll try to ship the latest version. I'll explain some of the markers of manual versions and how to correlate an instrument to a manual. This instrument information about serial numbers in this video applies to instruments made in Beaverton with serial numbers of the form B followed by six digits. Instruments made in Heronvane, Guernsey, Japan, or the UK have serial numbers starting with a digit rather than a B. The museum has limited information on how to correlate Be Beaverton serial numbers with instruments from other locations. In general, newer manuals cover older instruments unless a major change to an instrument requires a major change to a manual, as in this example. At serial number B250000, a new version of the 465 required a new manual with a different part number. This manual would be only marginally useful with instruments below serial number B250000. The best information correlating a manual version to an instrument is found in the parts list. Changes are shown by serial number ranges. Serial numbers start with B010100 for instruments built in Beaverton. In this example, if your SG503 serial number is between B010100 and B079230, you can be sure this manual covers your instrument. If your serial number is above B079230, it is possible this manual may not cover your instrument, but it would be a better choice than one that lists only serial numbers lower than this manual. Schematics are sometimes marked with revision dates and or applicable serial number ranges. This title page doesn't show a revision date, but the schematic does. Every circuit board assembly in a tech instrument has a 670 number. These can be found on circuit boards, although it may take some searching to find them. The current version of a board is sometimes marked with a sticker for the last two digits. When Tech ran out of 670 numbers, they started assigning 671 and 672 numbers to subassemblies. At the beginning of the electrical parts list in most manuals, there is a list of revision of 670 assemblies by serial number. If you can find the 670 numbers, on the assemblies in your instrument, you can determine whether you have the correct manual version. But be aware that sometimes instruments are repaired uh, using a different version, older or newer, substituting a different assembly for the original. The title page of manuals sometimes lists the revision date, as in, as in this example, but it's hard to correlate this date with the manufacturing date of an instrument. The museum gets inquiries about manufacturing dates of a particular instrument, but we have no such information in our files. It may be possible to get the lower bound of a manufacturing date by looking at the date codes on individual components. The manual for the Sony Tech 308 Logic Analyzer has a summary of revision dates, but again, these dates won't be useful unless the manufacturing date of an instrument is known. This kind of revision summary in a manual is rare and may be related to Japanese customs and expectations since this manual is for a Japanese-made instrument. Manual part numbers are of the form 070 followed by four digits, which are unique to the instrument followed by a two-digit revision code. Sometimes a revision of a manual causes a change in the last two digits of the manual part number from dash 00 to dash 01. We don't know what kind of changes in the instrument lead to this change in the part number. If you're lucky enough to have multiple copies of a manual, there's more information that helps to determine the latest version. Updates to manuals were frequently indicated by a circuit letter at the bottom of the page. Sometimes the circuit letter is followed by a small number with lines above and below. These markers, like the others, can't be correlated with instrument serial numbers, unfortunately. 
Later manuals used a revision letter and date on individual pages and note that each page could be different in a particular manual. Each page could be a different revision. Again, if you want to buy a manual from the Vintage Tech eBay store, please send a message with your instrument serial number before ordering so we can be sure we send you the correct manual version. If you're ordering from another seller, ask them to check the information I've described in this video if they are willing.